Hello there, Capricorn, and welcome to another series of your story and what's to come. I hope you guys are doing well out there. So, Capricorn, we're going to find out um, all that we can from Spirit about your story, and then we'll get some advice and get a little sneak peek at what's to come, okay? So let's find out what your current story is. <clears throat> Three of Stones and the Watcher. I feel a lot of you um, Capricorns, you might be learning and advancing yourself, but just kind of hanging out with um, a few people or some wise people for some of you guys, or, you know, you might be just knowing and understanding that you really are um, getting some type of intuitive uh, messages. There may be something strong here with a, uh, a wise, um, wise woman for some of you guys, or um, it could be a man, but there is a feminine showing up here. So most likely it will be a strong feminine energy, but most importantly, I feel a lot of you guys really are um, advancing your um, soul, your spirit, your intuition, and your gifts. There's something strong about you guys feeling supported at this time. So I feel some of you um, Capricorns, it's either you just need to hear that you really are advancing at this time or you're um, establishing something that um, can definitely be um, a start of something stable and secure for yourself if that's some uh, something that you are desiring here you might be spending time with like three people or you know for some of you guys you might be at home you know just kind of doing your thing here um, you might be having the stirring of something or wanting to create something new as well okay um, we got Taurus Virgo Capricorn and Cancer Pisces and Scorpio energy coming through Capricorn So let's see what else is going on here. There may be a significant um, Like maternal uh, Energy that is at play here as well for some of you Capricorns What else is Capricorn's story? Oh, you guys are healing your heartbreak and becoming very compassionate and gentle actually from it so there is something significant here. Um, oh, well, take that up. Oh, yeah, some of you guys. You're healing. I mean, regardless, there's something about a lot of, or you guys are healers here. This is what's happening. There's something, there's something, okay. There's three people, three wise ones, or three guardians, or there is... Um, it's like you are being connected with, um, ancient guides. Oh, there's something ancient going on here too with you Capricorns, isn't there? <laughs> Was that Aquarius's, uh, reading or title in this series? Cause I feel that you guys may have Aquarius placements in your chart. You may resonate with Aquarius's reading. We do have a sense of some type of Maybe for some of you guys, a reconciliation of the past and just finding a new sense of joy or just finding some joy with your surroundings right now. Um, I mean, there's a, there's something about three energies coming together here too. And there could be a focus on three things uh, for some of you uh, Capricorns. But we do have water sign coming through. We have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, okay, hang on, hang on. You guys have an ancient one looking over you, um, and it's there's an, an angel. So let's. There, there's a message for you that's coming through. In, okay, Archangel Raphael. Okay, and the unknown. It's really interesting. I was actually seeing through like a heartbreak situation here for some of you guys, but um, or just needing this healing energy for yourself, right? Because a lot of you guys might be finding some. Um, you know, that you are healers or gifted. Um, and some of you guys know this, some of you guys are, you know, coming into this and maybe for some, it's not just about, you know, if you don't resonate with that, then it's just more about you guys being in tune with staying strong with the uncertainty, the unknown of what's happening here. Um, Archangel Raphael is coming through here. So, um, feel yourself surrounded by, uh, Archangel Raphael's emerald green light. So Archangel Raphael is um, wanting you guys to know that I, Archangel Raphael, offer you healing and solace. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright. You must trust. And then we've got the unknown here. Do not fear the unknown. This is a time of deep exploration and transformation. Unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons. 
So what's happening right now is a sense of um, internal, spiritual, maybe um, external um, metamorphosis, a transformation, um, transition, okay? A sense of rebirth. Let's see, uh, what else is Capricorn's story? You are being watched over by a guide, um, Capricorn. Don't don't doubt this, okay? Great fortune. So some of you guys really are opening up to a whole new cycle of life. Something is abundantly pouring into your life. Now you may be noticing this. It is for some of you guys. It's starting a trick. It's starting to trickle here. So pay attention. I don't know why, but I do get the sense of will of fortune. So there could have been a lot going on, right? For some of you guys, you could have went through some cycles or you've been just trying to hang on through the ebbs and flows of changes. You know, something certainly has changed. Um, and it's, there's something about you guys really receiving and um, being fortunate in your situation. So look at this. I mean, we got Archangel Raphael. We have, um, we have great fortune. We have abundance being uh, bestowed on you by this great goddess here. So, wow. I feel a lot of you guys are opening up something new. And maybe you realize this, but maybe some of you guys, you don't. Okay. Um, I would say just as much as possible, no matter what, to focus on your strengths, um, to focus on the positive right now, um, and to focus on your dreams and your aspirations and give that the fuel. If you guys give your dreams and your aspirations, you know, the fuel, it's going to really change um, and alter your, your, your reality and your future in a positive light. And yes, you do have that ability to do that. What else is Capricorn's story? I keep looking at that lion too. Um, you know, it's like the lion and the lamb just right next to each other. It's like three polar opposites, but they all, there's a, there's a real sense of support and kinship here as well. So whether you're by yourself and connecting with your spirit guides, your angels, your animals, whatever it is, it's all blending in to help you right now to soothe your heart, your soul, your mind, okay, to keep you guys focused and not focus on poverty. What's going on with this poverty? Why the poverty here for um, Capricorn story? Why? I mean, some of you guys are leaving this. Look at this. The ring just fell out. There's a, there's a wish coming true for a lot of you guys. So whether it's like, you know, poverty or metaphorically here, maybe we're just lacking something or getting like the five of pentacles energy here. There's a sense of loss or a sense of maybe <clears throat> feeling alone in a situation. Some of you guys have been really working hard too. We've got a hard worker here. Um, there's something about you guys focusing on your dreams, your aspirations, like I said, because there is a wish being granted. Now, some of you, a new commitment, a new situation is happening here. Um, you may want to start engaging in this new thing. Okay. Maybe some of you guys will get, you know, married or there may be some type of, uh, up leveling and commitment, but we do have a wish as well. Maybe, um, for some of you guys, just cause I see the genie back there, um, you know, commitment is a focus right now. Uh, maybe some of you guys, there may be a difference for some of you that's going on. Um, some of you Capricorns might be noticing either you guys are feeling and doing pretty good and, and somebody else is lacking and you might be noticing that. And there might be this, this sense of like separation. Um, only take that if it resonates for you, uh, Capricorn. So yeah, I feel that there may be this sense of, um, yeah, you guys feeling a little bit out of place or another is feeling out of place with you, um, in a sense. Okay. I do see a child here. So I feel there is for some of you guys, maybe you've experienced some type of, um, significant change that was not such a good phase, right? And you just need to hear something about it being temporary as well. Okay. Let's see what else. Yeah, I feel a lot of you Capricorns are spending a lot of time in reflection right now. Um, 
and hopefully you're doing, you know, well, some of you guys, it could cause some stress, but you know, again, just try to focus on trusting and yes, spirit knows you guys are in the unknown. Look at this moon energy, a time of metamorphosis, a time of you guys really calling forth um, a beautiful uh, reality, even though it could, it definitely could be very uncomfortable here. But I do see a lot of you guys really tapping into the moon goddess energy here, um, Capricorn. So, I, you know, there's something strong about a healer as well. Very, very strong. Um, and I want to say that there is a, an Archangel Raphael, um, a guardian that is watching over you, actually bestowing healing energies towards you. Um, and a lot of you guys are doing this as well, um, or you're being called to really just send love and light. Some of you guys, there's music and singing here and a real summoning of good things and desires through that. So I do feel a lot of you uh, Capricorns are just tapping into, um, you know, your maybe that um, intuitive side. Uh, you could be facing some uncomfortable situations because the moon brings mystery, okay? It really does. It's the unknown, right? The spirit is letting you guys know, do not fear that unknown. Yes, it's a time of deep exploration and transformation. And you guys are going to go to new horizons to explore. So it's just opening up for you. Um, Pisces energy is coming through. What else for Capricorn's story? Seven of spirals. Got this bear energy going on. So I do feel a lot of you guys are really in a place of defending what is rightfully yours or you, you know to protect your energy or you're protecting something that is worth protecting. I feel some of you guys really see someone or a situation as an intruder right now. And so you could just be blocking people in situations because you don't want to have to get involved with maybe fights or you know conflict discord uh what else is uh capricorn story also fire sign is showing up uh aries leo sagittarius we got the emperor yeah there is a masculine energy coming through here so there could be a strong emphasis or influence with a father figure or just a strong masculine energy okay um, I do feel a lot of you Capricorns are doing what you can to really protect something. I mean, this is why I feel that something about you guys feeling like you need to defend and protect some type of new thing that's happening here, right? We've got, we got these, um, if you look at this, we've got these eggs in that nest and, you know, we're giving birth to new things, but there is this emperor, this gentle green man that is nurturing and protecting a situation. So I feel a lot of you guys are really trying to do what you can to protect something that you guys just feel strong about. Now, some of you, um, some of you Capricorns have someone who is really defending you and, and standing up for you, or you just, there may be a strong um, energy that is very protective here, okay? But I do feel a lot of you guys might be trying to retreat in nature or comfort yourself in nature, especially if you've been feeling like you need to get grounded here, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel there's, there's a, um, I don't know. Did I say soulmate? I do feel that there's a soulmate thing happening too, for some of you guys. Okay. So some of you guys are opening something up when it comes to expanding your heart and experiencing, um, you know, higher levels of love. Okay. What else? Yeah, you guys are might be sitting around and waiting right now. There's there now we got the more of this like lady influence here. Something is transforming in your guys' life. You guys could be hanging out at home um, or hanging out in your bedroom or hanging out, um, you know, somewhere where you guys just feel safe and protected and from outside influences or distractions. Possibly you could be hanging out with your animals, your pets, whatever it is. Um, but I do sense that you guys are trying to do what you can to uh, soothe your soul or you know, keep yourself in a place um, to receive something here that I feel a lot of you guys know is coming towards you. Some of you guys are summoning something <laughs> towards you, okay? Um, so some of you, there could be there could be a lady or a young, um, young lady at play here too. Um, I would say they would be mostly like mm, maybe in their teens, no older than 30, most likely around that. But 
um, for the most part, I'm just seeing this as you guys just kind of hanging out. Um, and what's really cute about this that I love is in, this is like Cinderella here. So she's getting ready to have a great blessing in her life. Look at this. You guys are going to be bestowed with some type of blessing and a beautiful transformation, maybe a, a sense of different lifestyle as well, or, you know, a more abundant lifestyle, because I feel a lot of you guys have been doing a lot of work and labor, or that's what it feels like. <clears throat> And so, you know, you're getting rewarded for this. There's something brewing here too. So something is some new creation, some new reality is brewing for you guys. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Yeah. You guys are moving on from, uh, uh, you're moving yourself away from situations that you know, aren't giving you anything or could be depleting you. And look, look at where the lady's going there. She's going towards the moon. Yeah, the moon is just like really um, calling forth uh, beautiful uh, insight. Uh, some of you guys really pay attention to your dreams. Maybe pay attention to your energy levels around the different moon cycles and, um, and work with it. But I feel a lot of you guys are moving on from maybe a person, uh, situations that just don't give you fulfillment, okay? Because there is a sense of you guys evolving. Uh, what else? Water sign is showing up. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> you guys are manifesting something new. Something's happening here. What's going on? Huh? You guys are doing something or you just need to know that you guys have everything that you need right now in order to um, attract something that you guys really want to bring forth or for some you could be really focused and this is why I feel some of you guys are like, Hey, this is my private area. Back off. I'm doing something. And then you're over here doing and creating. That's so cute. Anyhow, just, just know that some of you guys, <clears throat> you may be, some of you guys may be just focused too hard. And so just be easy. Okay. Don't get so stressed out. You have everything that you need. Magic is happening here. I mean, we, we even have this like, um, genie, uh, the lamp right there too. So let's see. Uh, what else? Yeah, some of you guys are like performers too, or um, there could be something fast here as well. What else is Capricorn's story? Mm, yep, you done with the situation, I feel. Some of you guys are just coming to a conclusion about all of the, the rifts, the rafts, the conflicts. Some of you guys, you're just putting, you're just, you're just done with things. Okay. Especially when it comes to, uh, things that have made you guys feel heartache, stress, difficulties, right? Maybe discord among friends, family, whatever it's gone on here, but there's something about you guys receiving, um, what you guys need to, some of you, this is a five of swords. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of you guys might've just really, made a decision or have, or you're coming into a place where you're just putting something down, you're, you're separating or you're, you're moving away, right? Severing ties. Maybe you guys are doing some energetic cut cord cutting as well. Um, I can see some of you guys doing that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else is Gem. Uh, why did I say Gemini? Oh, okay. Well, maybe some of you guys have Gemini placements. You may resonate with Gemini's reading in this series. Okay. So let's see what else for a uh, Capricorn. Look at that temperance and oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. There's some big things happening here. Some of you guys are having as much patience as you can when it comes to overcoming trials and tribulations in a uh, relationship that's significant. Some of you guys, you're getting ready to open it yourself up to a um, union of two hearts here. Yeah, a very beautiful union actually. So you might find yourselves committed to someone or something strengthening here. Now for some of you Capricorns, if love's not in the picture here, um, you know, you're actually coming into a whole union with like a part of like you, like the higher part of you and the divine and source and really, um, feeling good about your path, feeling very achieved in life. Um, but anyhow, uh, temperance, we got the world, we got lovers. Yeah. I feel some of you guys, you're just, um, you're trying to be very patient for the most part. I feel a lot of you guys are doing what you can to, 
uh, maybe stay in the middle ground. Maybe some of you guys, you're closing yourself off to situations because you know, you know better than to, you know, get riled up or, you know, to do too much of anything. And you're figuring something out here. Some of you guys really have some beautiful gifts and abilities and you really need to be proud of yourselves. Um, but look at this, like all three of these powerful, beautiful cards, three major arcanas, arcanas came out here. <laughs> oh my God. The temperance, the world and the lovers. So I feel you guys are really on a path of a divine, harmonious union in your life or you're headed towards really a time of commitment too. I mean, remember, look at this. Oh, some of you guys are going to get your, your dream mate here, your wish of a dream mate. Keep believing. Okay, let's see. Uh, what else is Capricorn's story? Or you're going to get your dream job or your dream, you know, purpose or whatever is like important. Okay, keep dreaming. It's brewing. It's brewing right now. It's brewing. Just know it's brewing. What else is Capricorn's story? Oh my gosh, Eight of Cups again. Ah, yes. True seeing. You guys are seeing something, right? It could be really off-putting too. Some of you guys might be seeing things about people that you just were like, wow, okay. You know, or you're just figuring something out. I mean, it could, it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, a bad or negative light. There is just a sense of true seeing. The Eight of Cups is showing up twice here. Um, you know, some of you be careful not to, ex you know, not to do anything right now, especially with that temperance. Um, maybe some of you guys, you're, you're having to find your own balance too. Um, especially when it comes to maybe, um, you know, moderation with anything. Cause we have a lot of cups here. So, um, you know, you can drown. There's a saying what you can drown. You can drown not only in your emotions, but other things too. So just be careful about that. I feel for a lot of you guys though, you know, you're doing what you can to really stay strong and um, move away from things. But maybe some of you guys, you know, there could be a hang up or um, a little bit of a challenge because uh, of like abandoning, aban uh, like abandonment or, you know, abandoning people or maybe even a self here of an old self. But the thing is, is you're, you're really outgrowing a situation in Capricorn. If they're meant to kind of, you know, catch up with you or whatever, then they will. Okay. Um, some of you guys, you just know it's, it's just time to like follow your dreams. Your, um, some of you guys is like what feels very strong to you. And I feel a lot of you Capricorns know that there's something way better for you. Okay. What else? Ace of Spirals. So we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming through and we have the Ram here. So some of you guys might be really headstrong about a situation. Some of you guys are like really determined. Um, I feel that there is an opportunity you guys are seeing. We got Fire Sign coming through here, Ace of Wands. So I feel you guys are taking an opportunity. You're seeing it. Okay. Um, and it's just at the beginning stage. So there really is this new, yeah, look at you, you guys might, you're working with something right now that could be inspiring you. That could be very ancient as well. There's something really ancient going on too. Just like Aquarius is uh, reading. Well, there is just something there's, yeah. <laughs> oh, our ancestors just leave us so much fun things behind, don't they? They're leaving us clues behind anyways, Capricorn. So be willing to, you know, look at things and study things, especially from our ancient ancestors. They're funny. Okay, let's see. Um, what else for Capricorn's story? Man, okay, Raven is coming through strong too. I saw, oh, well, we saw an owl, but there, oh, there, uh -huh, never mind. Okay. I thought I saw another raven, but anyhow, uh, magician. Okay. Magician. You guys have, you guys really, okay. Some of you cancers really do have the ability of psychic seeing, uh, inner knowing here. Okay. So I feel a lot of you guys are just trusting a situation and, um, focusing, right? You could be just really focusing on, um, seeing the magic in life. I hope you guys are. 
some of you guys, it might be a little bit difficult because this is coming out twice. Some of you guys might be feeling this is a really a real challenge here. Um, it could be the trust thing, right? Because the unknown. Um, let's get why the magician again. Let's see why the magician again. Some of you guys are going, okay, remember we were talking about transformation too. <laughs> so some of you guys, you, you might be feeling like, again, you're like kind of hiding out or hiding out in the background. You might be standing, spending time at home, but there is some type of chameleon energy happening or some type of shape shifting or we might be trying on something new as well. Okay. And you're just trying to figure that out. Um, magician. Oh, you guys are creating something new when it comes to people, community of soul family. Okay. Now I do see some of you guys like doing something or performing or do for some of you guys, um, for a community or online, you know, yeah, you have a platform or something like that, but, um, yeah, you guys are birthing or bringing in like new people, a new situation here, and it's a happy welcoming here. So let's see what else is your story. Uh, some of you guys, yes, again, you are blocking some people out, but it is for, it is for you guys to align yourself with what you feel is right for you because over here, it doesn't feel so good. Okay. we got the four of pentacles, scarcity, consciousness, material success, fear of loss. Some of you guys get out of your head. I know it can be really difficult. Some of you are really fearing the loss or you're fearing something here, right? Changes. It's always very uncomfortable. You know what? Capricorn, even positive changes are really uncomfortable too. Okay. They bring up, they even bring up some fears as well. Um, so anyhow, I do feel Capricorn, there's something that you guys are really destined, um, to achieve and protect. Uh, and I do feel you guys are protecting something. You guys are going under a transformation. Look, you guys are like right now in this metamorphosis and you're getting your wings. Um, something's going to take off. So don't allow yourself to really cling on to things that are not necessary. Some of you, you may um, be finding yourself, um, you know, uh, figuring things out, maybe finances or saving your energy. Maybe some of you guys are saving up your energy, saving up your money. Okay. You could be maybe for some in a financial pinch, but don't let that, don't let that paralyze you because it's temporary. Okay. Um, let's see. Some of you guys might be feeling very confined though. There could be in a controlling energy for some of you guys, um, that it's kind of hard to break free from. Okay. Uh, because I would say, oh yeah. Cause I would say those are like the caterpillar people when you're a butterfly, uh, person here. Okay. So it's kind of hard. Uh, oh, I just was like getting a message too. Let me see. I got a message earlier. Oh, here you go. Maybe some of you guys need to hear this message. Look at this. It's just oh, complacent souls may actively oppose you. Look at that. Seven of spirals. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyhow, let's see. What else for Capricorn? Three of cups again. We could be focused. We could just be focused on loved ones right now or the people that matter. Some of you guys, you could be focused on going out or friendship or um, maybe for some, you just, maybe you guys, maybe there was something, uh, some information you got. I'm looking at them with the tea cup and what's that saying The spill the tea or, or something like that. So there could be something, uh, with that, but I feel for some of you guys, Hmm, there's something strong with like rec like having, um, like reconciling the past or maybe coming into like a, a sense of rejoicing within your internal world. Possibly you're celebrating with some people or hanging out with some friends. Okay. Friends, friends could be of an issue right now for a lot of you, um, Capricorns, um, and either it's like a soul family or you're seeking a soul family or joy. Joy might be a little bit of a difficulty too. Let's get a little bit more about this three of cups. Let's give me a little bit more. Yeah, I feel some of you guys really are just trying to spend your time with people that aren't going to pull you down or drag you down. 
Yeah, I feel you guys are changing something. There's something about you guys feeling rich with, um, feeling good and rich with uh, the people and the, the relationships you have, okay? Now, something's really lining up. So for some of you guys, don't give hope. Uh, don't give up on hope on finding trustworthy friends or a sense of healing or um, a sense of soul group, okay? Because it's happening. And maybe for some of you guys, <laughs> oh, some of you guys got something. Yeah, some of you guys, you did. You're celebrating some type of little or big success. Yeah, you guys are celebrating it. And maybe um, you're doing it on your own or you're doing it with just your family or just people that, you know, you trust here. Um, so just take that if that resonates. But, you know, there's something about you guys coming into, I mean, look at this. We have poverty going to sun and wealth. Wow, there's a difference there. Okay, let's see what else for Capricorn's story. Two of scrolls. See, what did I say? What was that message? Complacent souls may actively oppose you. So I feel a lot of you Capricorns, maybe some of you guys could be avoiding people or situations or ignoring things, but I feel you guys are just realizing something when it comes to just certain people or energies or, you know, a block in your life and you know, moving from it, really just moving from it. So good for you. Um, what else is Capricorn's story? Oh my gosh, look at you. Here, here is the devil card, but Capricorn, there is, um, you know, this is your energy too. So let's get a little bit more with this devil card for your story. Because I do, you know, you know, Capricorn, we were talking earlier about, um, you know, got this moon card. Uh, we were talking earlier about other people. And so I feel some of you guys, you're, you know, look at this, look at the eyeball here. It's like, you guys are seeing something, um, about people. And yes, for some of you guys, it could be really off putting. That's just how it is. Um, yeah. Let's see. Give me a little bit more about this devil card for a uh, Capricorn story. I feel like as you guys, you, yes, you guys are moving away from something that could be really feeling um, like it's holding on to you or you're holding on to it for some of you guys, but, um, or maybe there's something with, you know, because we we're talking, I was talking something about attachment, but I feel a lot of you guys are seeing some type of truth in a situation and you guys are having a sense of liberation and it's really beautiful. Um, we've got this ship here, so there could be something or someone at a distance as well. Um, hopefully some of you guys aren't obsessing too much. Okay. Some of you guys could be obsessing about a love or a passion here, or we could be obsessing about our looks in some way. We may be having some image issues for some of you guys, but I'm also seeing something else happening here. I'm seeing you guys just being in your power here because the devil card here is Capricorn energy here. And I'm seeing this like, you know, this unveiling of some, some type of new energy within you because you are going through a transformation. Okay. Of some type here. So I feel some of you guys, you know, you may be watching out and looking out uh, for those toxic people or situations. Some of you, you just really are moving on. You're moving on to better times. You really are. If you just stay focused on the right things right now. Um, let's see what else is Capricorn's story. Yeah, eight of spirals. So there is something strong about communication, but something for some of you guys, you guys could be feeling like maybe some of you guys feel being like you're being attacked. Um, some of you guys might even feel like you're being spiritually attacked for some of you guys. But anyhow, eight of spirals, I feel there's something going on with opportunities right now. Some of you guys could be feeling like things are going a little bit fast, or you might be feeling like there's just too much possibly going on. I mean, maybe some of you guys are trying to dodge those things right now. It's like, no. Um, yeah, I feel some of you guys, there's just, too, there's a lot, an acceleration happening. And actually, Capricorn, there's an acceleration happening here when it comes to you guys um, going through a time of the un unknown, okay? So I don't feel like it's going to be as long as some of you guys think it's going to be, okay? Just keep reminding yourself that um, it's temporary, if there's something that's discomforting for you. Okay. What else is Capricorn's story? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at this really rising up. 
Look at that judgment card. Okay, so some of you guys, you could be judging yourself or others too harshly, but you know, in general, I do see a lot of you, you guys really doing something here when it comes to learning s some significant lessons or, you know, um, challenges from the past here and really rising up. And for some of you guys, you're just, you're, you're ready for these, you're ready for this upliftment. You're ready to feel um, light and inspired and colorful. So some of you guys, you might be feeling like your life is colorless and it's coming into color. It's coming into focus. Okay. And some of you guys, you're realizing that some of you, you may be, some of you, you might be, um, you know, feeling a little bit, uh, challenged by maybe some things that have gone on, maybe that you blame for yourself or judging yourself. Okay. But you've got to release that. It's really important to, to, you know, own it, understand it, but just to have compassion and forgiveness for yourself, right? You gotta, you gotta just let those things go. Um, let's see what else is Capricorn's story. So a lot of you Capricorns are really focused mostly on growth or reestablishing for some of you guys, if you had some type of, um, you know, change or whatever. Yeah. I feel some of you guys are just hanging out. Uh, you could be hanging out in the garden. You could just be having some gatherings or intimate gatherings. Um, I just feel that there's something about you guys, you know, just kind of chilling out, hanging out, being patient. You know, it is showing up here, you know, this card of patience as well. So yeah, hanging out, doing your thing for some of you. Um, let's see what else. Now we have that seven of mirrors. So there is something a little bit going on with, um, maybe not seeing something, uh, accurately as uh, you know, cause we, we could, some of you guys could be getting overwhelmed or confused here. I want a little bit more. Why with, why the seven of mirrors for Capricorn here? <clears throat> you guys are, <laughs> oh, you are weaving your dreams into reality. Okay. Some of you, some of you, okay. Oh, I know Capricorn. Some of you guys just take this. If it resonates, don't worry if it doesn't, but some of you, um, maybe you already, you already stopped, but maybe there is something about looking in the mirror too much and being too critical or judging yourself and you, and you just need to stop or, you know, or change your perspective here because it's, there's something, um, more going on. That's more important. And, you know, you need to look at your, your internal beauty and strength. Okay. Look at everything just got really quiet, didn't it? Just got real quiet. <laughs> Okay, why the seven of mirrors here for Capricorn? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Some of you guys are getting confused. There is, okay. Now, some of you, it could be, you know, maybe you, but I do see that there could be like a trickster or someone that you need to just be cautious of because it could be causing you guys um, to be tempted or to be very uh, confused. Okay. And we do have the magician coming twice. So, um, there could be a manipulator among, among you. Okay. We got the five of scrolls, five of swords. So I am sensing some of you guys, you might've had something that was just, uh, too much of an illusion here. Someone may have played some deceptive games or, um, they just fronted something here. Okay. So I feel some of you guys might be hard on yourself too, because maybe you feel like you broke some rules or something like that. Um, and that could be causing you guys to feel very, um, overwhelmed in a sense. Okay. Let's see. What else is Capricorn's story? Hmm. Yeah. See there's, um, Oh, I was going to say the nine of swords. I do feel some of you guys are in the nine of swords energy, possibly a little bit stressed out, or, um, maybe there's something going on with nighttime and unable to like get a good night's rest. Um, we do have a wish fulfillment here. We do have something about you guys, um, staying and being grateful for something. So I do feel 
for the most part, Capricorn, you guys are doing your best to celebrate your successes, um, share what you have, um, giving from a grateful heart for some of you guys, and counting your blessings and watching more come in. I mean, this is why you guys are being bestowed blessings upon blessings upon blessings. So keep opening yourself up for it, okay? Which means as you are growing, <laughs> you know, it's growing pains, right? But yeah, I feel there's, there is a sense of some of you guys just feeling very satisfied with how things are right now and you're okay. And it's just opening, things are opening up because you're just being in tuned and in line and that's good. Um, what else is Capricorn's story? <laughs> King of Stones. Oh my gosh. And the, okay. I do feel a lot of you guys are at a real new beginning stage of experience, experiencing maybe even, um, new abilities within yourself, um, creative abilities. I mean, we got the healer here. Okay. So there may be a new experience with your, um, gifts, your abilities here. Um, and also, with um, you guys actually creating some type of success from this because we do have the King of Pentacles. So I'm seeing this thing about loyalty um, as well. So some of you guys, you're really focused on your own things. Um, it's really cute with this uh, page of mirrors. Now, I do see something here about communication for some of you guys. You could be at a beginning stage with a certain or particular person here, Capricorn, with the King of Stones. Um, so some of you guys, you could be communicating back and forth because I do see that eight of us uh, uh, wands there. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, Capricorn, some of you guys are going to have to use your discernment too because I know that you might be feeling like there could be a trickster at play here um, or there could be something going on that could be, you know, that you've dealt with now or in the past, um, you know, that you guys could have... Uh, felt hung up on here, but I do get for the most part, a lot of you Capricorns are experiencing a new sense of lifestyle within yourself, your surroundings, or maybe a new sense of like achievement within yourself and feeling proud. You could be experiencing um, a time where, or you're coming into a time where you can actually enjoy things. I mean, look, she's um, got this uh, beehive and you know she's like doing things taking care of them and they're taking care of her by providing some honey here so there's like this thing about sweetness in life or maybe even like the luxuries in life here too okay and again yes I see some of you guys are dating or communicating with someone maybe someone new um, doesn't have to be um, and there could be a child um, definitely a young one or children at play for some of you Capricorns okay what else is Capricorn's story oh page of swords and then we got the ten of Pentacles yeah there's some challenges going on maybe that's wrapped around money or um, family some of you guys you could be doing what you can right now to avoid risks right because you know that there's something like worth protecting so i feel some of you guys are at a new stage of really trusting your instincts and your intuition you're doing what you can or you know maybe you're claiming your independence as much as possible so that you guys can um, create the dream reality or just create a sense of stability that you guys have now without it, you know, um, being effective in, uh, or affected in any way. Okay. So yeah, I feel some of you guys, you might be, um, really, um, having to have a beginner's mind too, when it comes to a sense of real true wealth, which isn't just the material, right? It's, it's everything. It's spiritual wealth, um, health, you know, when you have your health, I mean, come on, that's like the most important so that you can enjoy the good things in life, right? Let's see. Um, yeah, some of you guys might be, there may be some, there may be some talk and, and, and conversations, possibly some gossiping amongst some family or wrapped around money for some of you guys. You, some of you Capricorns definitely have your suspicion on someone or, or something here, okay? Uh, what else is Capricorn's story? Ace of Mirrors. Wow. Ace of Cups. And okay, so you guys are going to really, there's something that you guys are loving. I know there's something that you guys are loving or, or you're going to open yourself up to love someone here. 
The Ace of Mirrors showed up, so I feel a lot of you guys are going after what you want. There's something about, um, you know, a real beautiful thing of reflection and an opening here of love or the ability to really create and have that, those powers and the confidence to do so and to lead the way here. So I feel a lot of you are opening yourself up to like a whole new path to love or you're opening yourself up to a person to love or a friend to love here that is very significant, okay? So I feel a lot of you guys really are Capricorn. You're transforming and rebuilding a real sense of... Um, confidence within yourself a new a sense of self-esteem and um you know also feeling a sense of um freedom to create or to go after things okay some of you i feel that there was something going on about control as well or letting go of control realizing you know we can't control everything right and so you're just like trying to figure out how much of of anything right now and trying to stay in the middle of everything just trying to find your balance um what else is capricorn's story the king of scrolls so we yo oh, yeah we've got something about you guys really having the ability to um really uh, have some knowledge here there could be for some of you guys um a real cl clarity about a person or your position you guys have had some type of information too so i do see you guys receiving or gaining information that is giving you guys the clarity that you need now some of you you could be dealing with the king of scrolls you could be detached from someone or someone could be very cold right now or you could be finding that you might be very cold to others okay um i do sense a lot of you guys capricorn you guys got something really very beautiful and creative right now i mean the poet the healer um give in to those things because there's something really um you know beautiful for you guys to access or to enhance or to continue um what else is capricorn's story official person i feel some of you guys already know someone or there's someone that you already know or you're coming into it but i do sense a lot of you guys um have made something official within yourself here we do have the world card so there's something about you guys really having like a badge of honor okay energetically or physically here there's something about you guys having a real sense of like um, achievement okay so I feel a lot of you might have been a chosen one too for a situation as well so think about that mm -hmm. not everybody gets to wear or be honored like this okay now I do see some of you again there is the someone's like made official in your life okay and however they're show uh, they show up friend lover um, they could be a person of uniform. They don't have to be, but I do feel a lot of you guys are calling forth an official person <laughs> um, or you're, some of you guys, you might be manifesting like the, the people that, you know, that you want to, cause you know, this isn't making you happy over here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what else? This is Sojourner. We've got the King of Mirrors. Do we have the Queen of Cups come out? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys are trying to really follow your intuition and instincts at this time. And maybe things don't really make sense, but um, you know, I feel you guys are opening yourself up to a, a bigger, bigger situations when it comes to real expansion in love and purpose here, okay? Um, I do feel that there's movement happening and you really are moving towards a situation and opening yourself up to compassion, to love, uh, to healing, and to a person possibly. Okay, some of you guys, you could be focused on a person that, that could be a king of cups, uh, could be a masculine energy. They don't have to be. Um, but I do see a lot of you guys knowing your way. It's like somehow you guys just know your way. And for some, maybe some of you guys might be feeling a little bit challenged but you're trying to stay very calm um during these uh challenging times especially during a time of like having to really um you know have a rebirth or transformation or realizing of our past here 
What else is Capricorn's story? Yeah, Nine of Stones. I feel a lot of you guys are really doing something purposeful or you're coming into some type of achievement and success. We do have someone who is by themselves, though. So I do feel some of you guys are feeling a little isolated and lonely. Um, and you're ready for the next thing, aren't you? You're, you're ready for the change. You see the winds of change happening, too. So you're ready for this change. Uh, what else? We're just talking about that. Oh my goodness. And look at this beautiful butterfly. Hello. Hello. What did I tell you? You guys are, look at that caterpillar to butterfly. So some of you guys, you really know this. Okay. But some of you just take a little side note, just follow life's rhythm. Try to find the easiest path forward. You are on this, uh, um, on an evolution here and it's beautiful. It really, really is. Let's see what else. Okay, that's it for those. And I want to show you guys this too, because the butterfly, the wings, um, and she's got her wings too, okay? And the world card. It's like, uh, you guys really, some of you guys might have received a, a really nice gift or just you, you just receive what you knew you deserve. So good for you. Um, let's find out what's to come for you. What's to come for Capricorn? Oh my gosh. Ooh. So I feel that you guys are going to spend a little time um, just kind of putting some work and effort into um, your rebirth, into your transformation. And, and for some of you guys, you I hope you don't doubt your abilities as a healer as well um, or uh, having some special like prophetic powers. Um, you know, there's a time of self-surrendering because there is a, a, a time that you guys are having to face the unknown, the uncertainty. Um, but what's to come is you guys actually seeing something that you have sown here, reaping what is sown. So I feel a lot of you guys may actually uh, be enjoying what you've reaped, right? And spending some time and, and just in basking in that and just loving or just accepting <laughs> and surrendering a time where we have to just kind of pause and be still um, or just, uh, you know, for some of you guys, it's just about you guys um, nurturing your own abilities and powers right now. Let's find out what else is to come for you. Yeah, I don't, let's get one more. See, I'm really seeing something right now. It's just, but right now, there's something about you guys figuring things out. We do have something about modesty, self-sufficiency, circumvention, um, balancing act, taking the first step. Yeah, I feel a lot of you guys are just figuring things out, okay? So what's to come is actually some solutions, some planning, some ideas. For some of you guys, if there's an obstacle, I see you guys figuring your way around it. And look at the crab, this cancer, cancer energy too, and look at the moon there. <laughs> Okay, so there's something about you guys like getting some type of like, like heightened senses or a heightened awareness to figure a solution or figure something out. Okay, and what's coming is I do see something about you guys taking the first step towards a person or an opportunity and expanding, finally taking, getting out of that comfort zone. <laughs> okay, let's find out what is the advice for Capricorn. What is the advice for Capricorn? Okay, gosh. Okay, some of you guys just, what I what I just got, take it if it resonates, get organized. Get organized. Maybe get tidied up. Let's see. Oh, the advice is someone is coming towards you. So I feel that this is going to be a good situation, but we also have the writer here. So there's something about you guys really taking off as well and following what you guys really feel desired uh, to follow, um, especially, okay, I, maybe I shouldn't have worded it that way, but following what you guys truly feel is right for you, okay? Because there's something about adventure, there could be something about traveling here, and I'm also seeing some type of person here, so um, the advice is to go with it, just go with it, ride with it, and maybe for some, Maybe for some, too, what you guys need to hear, um, Capricorn, as your advice, 
is to be a solo rider for the time being, okay? Enjoy a sense of liberation and that experience. Um, the time is going to come when the time is right for you guys, uh, for you Capricorns seeking to like have a companionship because maybe not all of you guys are, but if you are, be willing to be a solo rider and ride on your own for a while and have that sense of freedom and fun because when you're at this like nine of stones energy, you have the time to be picky, okay? And there's plenty of time for you. So I hope that was helpful, uh, Capricorn. Love and light. Take care.